What's up? How are you guys this week? As usual, it is Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and we always have something new for you guys. This week it's going to be a fresh veal share, which I'll talk about briefly, but the rest of that fresh beef share is coming in Wednesday as well, guys. So if you did want to place an order for it, we should have plenty of them available for you. And veal being the slightly younger beef is going to be very special because the majority of the time, all veal on the market is milk fed, which is actually formula fed. This is 100% genuine mother's milk fed veal that we're getting from a local Amish farmer. So it's an incredibly rare product to offer. And that's going to be in five pound packages around $15 a pound, which is super cheap for veal. Even ground veal of that quality should be more so. Uh, definitely pre-order that if you guys want it on Wednesday. And I'll try to show some pictures of it next week, but because it's a smaller animal, there's going to be a limited amount. Might be sold out by then. Uh, we also have a decent amount of uh, dairy just came in today. We got the milk, butter, and cream, and some cottage cheese and yogurt. Uh, still plenty of that for you guys. But let's take a look around and show you guys what's going on. Can you hear the condenser in the background from the freezer? That drives my guys crazy. I don't mind it, but I'm not down here all day like they are. So we have all of the meat as well as the eggs packaged up for you guys to be sent out today. Some more meat packages over here. Honestly, compared to what I do every day, I would rather do just eight hours of physical labor and then go home and not have anything else to do. But uh, let's just say I definitely need a permanent vacation. So let's hop in the freezer and show you guys what we got this week back in stock. So I told you guys last week, we are now doing beef stock in addition to the collagen broth. The difference is that this is made with meatier bones, so it has a little more flavor. It's not as gelatinous as the collagen broth, and you can kind of see a color difference, like this is slightly darker in color. So you'll notice, you know, when taking this out of the fridge or at room temperature, the collagen broth is like extremely, extremely solid, whereas this is a little more jiggly, but still has plenty of amino acids and uh, the collagen in it. We got some of the eye round roast back in stock. Some of you guys like buying this. Uh, the main restock this week is we have plenty of fresh cut one inch thick grass-fed ribeye. Restock some Iberico pork too, and this is super, super fatty, guys. Like, I think the fat content's like 60, 65%. And we also restock some ground Wagyu. Again, this is also super fatty. Uh, the previous Wagyu we had was 90-10. This is more like 70-30. Still got plenty of beef tendons, plenty of testicles in stock, all that stuff. We did the goat testicles in the single testicle portions or if they're really tiny we put two but this is like a nice quarter pound portion for you guys still have some of the beef charcuterie products like the hot dogs we got the beef bologna we got some scrapple and everything here if you guys want it still plenty of ground venison i think this is the most affordable online some chuck steaks we got the oxtail over here the iberico breakfast sausage as well as plain sausage that you guys have been liking a lot this is really delicious Veal brains that are price reduced. These are around $20 each now, I think. And we also ran out of a few things, guys, but they should be back this week. Uh, the best burger blend, the organ grind, as well as the sheep stomach, uh, we should all have by the weekend. And we're also gonna do a few other things. Yeah, we're gonna try to make some of the dark chocolate cookie bars, although we do have the white chocolate right now. We're gonna try to make some teriyaki jerky as well. And we might have a few other things coming in, not 100% sure yet. Yeah, we have the white cookie bars available. We still have some of the banana rice crisp. We got some of the biltong products and some of the, uh, the dried beef stick products, but we are running out of some of them. All the best bars are in stock, chocolate, berry, vanilla. So this is the dairy fridge. We hold it at a different temperature. I uh, actually have some extra stuff this week, like some extra milk. Uh, what's this? kefir leftover actually so some of this we're actually gonna have to throw out this week uh, we also have some yogurt and some cottage cheese as well as some farmer's cheese left over in here so the fresh dairy delivery is coming on wednesday that's going to be the butter the cream and some more milk uh, so those orders are going to ship out wednesday with the fresh beef as well uh, hopefully we get some more sales on the cottage cheese and the uh, yogurt and we can keep the demand high because last week uh, People just weren't buying the milk and stuff as much, which is not good for the farmer and not good for me because he can't just not send me milk for a week and then I lose, you know, a thousand dollars. So uh, hopefully we can keep doing the dairy, but 
we'll see how it goes over the next few weeks. I think I showed you guys last week, we now have corn and soy free quail eggs as well as duck eggs. And of course we still have the chicken eggs. Running a little low on the water kefir grains. I got to take one of these home with me. The fresh roast beef looks delicious guys. I'm having that for lunch. Nice and rare. Looks amazing. Plenty of ginger water kefir in stock. Might have to throw this out too actually uh, later this week if we don't sell it. So we've only been selling ginger water kefir for like the past month or two. What we're going to try to do is just bring back the other flavors, uh, the lemon and maybe some other stuff and see how the sales are because uh, just like the dairy, the problem with the water kefir is it's only good for like two weeks. So if we don't sell it, we don't want to you know, send people like a product that isn't like the ideal freshness or bacterial composition, ideal probiotic content. I don't really think there's anything to show you guys down here. Frankie's Naturals, same stuff. We got the new moisturizing cream formula over here. Uh, fresh batch of tooth powder as well. If you guys are looking for any hygiene cosmetic stuff. All the Wi-Fi shielding products for the most part are 10 to 20% off. We have plenty of the shielding t-shirts, underwear, long sleeve shirts and stuff. We got some head nets back in stock as well. Organ supplements, same thing guys. I don't think we're doing new products anytime soon, uh, but we might do something special with the Masticum. So all the businesses are linked on frank if you wanna check them out. Basically, if you get anything from like organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, you're helping fund the meat business. So, you know, until we get our own processing plant, farm, and all that type of stuff, hopefully within a year or two, it's, it's really helping keep things afloat. But I think that's everything for this week, guys. It is an absolutely stunning day in New York. Clear blue sky. I think it's like 60, 65 degrees outside. But uh, we're stuck in this warehouse. So, uh... If you guys do want the fresh beef or fresh veal, as I mentioned earlier, go place the pre-order on the website and we will send that out first thing on Wednesday as well as all of the fresh dairy products. Uh, we still have some eggs coming in as well. So um, it's, it's weird. Uh, same thing with the eggs. We had a, a really, really high demand for the eggs for like the past two months and it kind of tapered off. And then our farmers like pissed because we can't take eggs this week, but we'll see. Hopefully uh, he does a little price reduction and then we can get the sales back up. Frank stefancom guys. You'll see Frankie's Free Range Meat as well as Frankie's Free Range Foods. Yeah, hopefully in the next uh, few months or so, we can also do some more ideas that I've been wanting to do. Uh, maybe sell some of like the grains that I've been eating, whether it's like white quinoa, white beans, different types of flour here and there. Maybe get the Amish farmers to do some canned vegetable products. I've really been wanting to do things like sauerkraut. Uh, still trying to get someone to do the potato chips, but uh, hey, I think... Uh, in a few months, by the end of the year, we'll have a lot of that stuff done and, uh, and keep moving forward. So, as I said several times, guys, Frank Stefan.com to see all the businesses. But if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And we'll see you guys soon.